Hello everyone, welcome back to our Simply Learn YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss an essential tool for any developer or data science, that is virtual environment. And before proceeding, I have an insight for you guys. If you are aiming to get certified as an AI and ML engineer and want to build a career in AI, in that case, you can check the professional certificate program in AI and machine learning, that is in collaboration with IBM and Purdue University by Simply Learn which will open the doors for the best career opportunities. And to find the details of this professional certificate program in AI and machine learning, you can check the link in the description box below and the pinned comment. And now, let us have a simple question to brush up on our knowledge. And your question is, what command turns on a virtual environment? And your options are, the first option is source slash script slash activate. And the second option is python minus m way environment virtual environment and the name of the folder and the third option is source virtual slash scripts slash activate or d all of the above please answer in the comment section below and we will update the correct answer in the pinned comment you can pause the video give it a thought and answer in the comment section now moving on to our topic that is virtual environment most python projects have dependencies that we install and use for example we use Flask for web applications and we use these libraries written and tested by many developers so we don't have to write them again. These libraries change over time. They get new functionalities and bug fixes with some newer versions. For example, let's say you are a Python developer working on two different projects and each project has different package requirements. Project A requires Flask 2.0 version while project B requires Flask version 2.2. You cannot have both versions stored globally on your system because they will conflict with each other and you might break one or both of these projects. This is where virtual environment comes in handy. And now we'll see what is a virtual environment. Virtual environments are isolated environments that allow developers to work on multiple projects with different dependencies without conflicts. This is crucial when working on multiple projects simultaneously, especially those with different dependencies because the virtual environment ensures that each project has its own set of dependencies that will not conflict with those of other projects. In Python, virtual environments are created using the built-in virtual environment module which creates a directory with a specific structure that contains a copy of the Python interpreter as well as other necessary files. Every virtual environment has a Python version and a folder of third-party libraries that you will install for a particular project. Python libraries are frequently updated with new versions that include bug fixes, new features, and performance improvements. Upgrading a library to a newer version can have various effects on a virtual environment. In general, it is a good practice to keep libraries updated to the latest version, but it is also important to consider the impact on the virtual environment and the application before upgrading. It is recommended to test the upgraded library in a separate environment before making changes to the production environment. This can help to identify any potential issues and ensure a smooth upgrade process. If we update the library, maybe our code should not work as the functionalities would have been changed with the update. Now we'll see why do you need a virtual environment. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. When you install packages globally, you run the risk of breaking other projects or application that rely on the same packages. Virtual environment provides a solution to this problem by creating an isolated environment for your project that doesn't interfere with your system environment. Now, we'll see a hands-on demonstration to create a virtual environment on our system. So for that, we will go to our projects folder and inside here we will create a folder and name it as virtual environment. So inside this folder first we will open the command prompt. So creating a virtual environment is a straightforward process. We will demonstrate how to create a virtual environment using python's built-in module that is virtual environment. And we have opened the command prompt 
and navigate it into a folder that we have created that is virtual environment. So I'll write a command that would be python minus m the name of the module virtual environment and now we'll write the name of a folder we want to create. So we'll press enter and now we'll see that we have a directory here that is with the name my environment. Once the command gets executed successfully, we'll have a new directory that is my environment, but we have made. Now we have to activate our virtual environment. First we'll do that. But before that, what we can see is in the script section, we have pip and the python files here. That is the python.exe file, that is the application file, pip file. So we have python's version installed here. So if we ask the command prompt what version is installed in our virtual environment, we'll ask him. It says 3.10.2 but it's the global python that is command prompt is showing so first we have to activate the virtual environment and after that it will show us what python version is installed into our environment so to activate our virtual environment we'll write a command that is the path we'll write and this is for the windows for that we'll write the name of the folder my environment slash you have seen the scripts folder slash and then we have activate and now we'll press enter you can see my environment folder in brackets this shows that our virtual environment is active now now if we ask him what is the python version that is installed inside our virtual environment it says that is 3.10.2 so we have the globally installed python version that is 3.10.2 and in a virtual environment it's also 3.10.2 and we have a command to deactivate our virtual environment that is deactivate so it has been deactivated that is you can see that my environment from the circular brackets it has been vanished now we'll check what packages are installed into our system so now we are in the global system for that we'll write pip phrase and press enter so you can see these old packages are installed into our global environment system these are many packages so you can see these are the packages that are installed We'll get back to our virtual environment and activate it. So to activate it, we'll get into the folder slash scripts slash activate and press enter. You can see that our virtual environment is active now. And now in here, we'll write the command pip freeze and see what packages are installed. It says no packages are installed <coughs> into our virtual environment so here we'll install django pip install django and press enter so you could see that it has started installing it and it is installing 4.1.7 version now you have seen that django is installed into our system now you can work on any project without worrying about any package that conflict with other projects. Like uh, if you name this as project A, then the Django is installed into this project. And if you want to work on project B, then you need to create another virtual environment for it using the same virtual environment command just above. And you can work on project B without worrying about any package conflicts or breaking project A. To deactivate, we have seen that we can just write deactivate and the virtual environment would be deactivated. So now if you want to give a particular project to another person for that you have to ask him to install all the particular version of the packages. So to find all the packages installed into an environment we have seen the command pip freeze. It has shown us all the packages that were installed into our, the system environment or the global environment. Now we will write a command 
to see what packages are installed in our virtual environment so for that you could use the previous command prompt or we could just have a new command prompt here and here we have to activate a virtual environment again as we are not able to see the name of the virtual environment in circular brackets so for that we'll write the name of the directory then scripts and then activate now you can see our virtual environment is active now we'll write the command pip freeze and it has shared us all the packages that are installed into our system and these are the packages that are installed with the django package so now if you want to share a particular project with another person then you have to create a file that would be requirements.txt file and you have to write all the projects with the version names installed for your project so for that we'll write the command pip freeze and the greater than sign and then we'll write requirements dot txt and press enter so what this will do is it will create a file requirements dot txt and it will get filled with all the packages with the particular and respective versions so you can share this file to a particular person and the particular person can install all the packages just by a single command so what command he could write is pip install minus r then the requirements dot txt sorry it's dot txt and press enter so you could see that the requirement is already satisfied as in this virtual environment we have the django installed and with the django these are the other packages that will be installed automatically so the particular person has to run the command pip install minus r requirements.txt and all the packages with the particular versions that are <laughs> mentioned in the requirements.txt file will be installed for him that's it for today's video we hope you find introduction to virtual environments helpful virtual environments are an essential tool for any developer or data scientist and we encourage you to start using them if you haven't already if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from simply learn till then stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here